And welcome back, guys. Uh, first off, real quick, uh, shout out to Austin and Kyle. You guys rock. Thanks for your support. Uh, right now, we're making the Viper Swords, which the uh, diagrams are in the question marks here in this area. They're not great, but they're better than any of the other swords you can get in this starting area. You'll see they'll quickly become outclassed when we get to Velen. But, um, and you'll get... There is enough material to make them. You shouldn't have to buy anything if you clear all the question marks, but you have to craft the silver ingots out of something. I've never not had to, which is kind of cool because the game kind of forces you to learn the crafting mechanic if you want to make the weapons. And the crafting mechanic's pretty well in depth. I like it. Yep, what am I doing now? Oh, right, I'm breaking this down to make the other silver ingot I need to make the, uh, the Viper Silver Sword. Which you, they have a bit more of a damage boost and they add experience bonuses for using it against the right enemy type. So they're not terrible weapons. They've got a couple of other bonuses they add too. But again, once we get to Velen, yeah, they'll become outclassed real so fast. Long. Yes, thank you, Quartermaster. Thank you very much. Oh, well, we should probably put those on. You may notice this recording's short too because I ran into an audio bug. I explain that in more detail in the next part. Time for the contract. Devil by the well. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. I just walked into your house, sir. Greetings, good man. Having trouble with your well? That's what I read. Aye. Tis haunted. Has been for a good twenty years. Twenty? So why do you put out a notice just now? Because earlier on we drew our water from the river. But so many corpses floating in it after the battle it's turned noxious. My daughter Mandy drank half a pitcher. Felt dreadful ill, can't get nothing down. She grows worse by the day. Herbalist claims you fight a fever with drink. And not beer nor cider, but water. Clear, pure water. And where am I to get that if not from the well? But first, the ghost's got to be driven away. And it, don't let any man near. This ghost. Describe it for me. Well, it's awful frightening. Awful. I meant what is Yeah, that like. helps. Thanks. Like a woman, but fresh from the grave. Wears a dirty dress, all rags, its skin flaking off its bones, and it howls. Like it's suffering. Some wraith. Or maybe an elf. If you don't wallop it, Master. If you don't take care of it, Be thankful it isn't an elf. Fine, I'll help. Where's this well? In Havel. A settlement on the heights. It's abandoned now. No one ventures there on account of the ghost being about. Drive it off. Please. I didn't want to say so and interrupt the dialogue, but I have to say I absolutely love the use of the camera angles in this game, especially during conversation. How they're constantly changing. It's actually very well done from a cinematic aspect. Maybe it only shows at a certain time of day. Grass around the well scorched. Something else I gotta find. Oh, it's over here. Okay. Bodies dried to a crisp. Signs of burns. All signs point to a new wraith. Yep, Geralt already knows what he's dealing with. I think one of the things is to read the diary entry on the noon wraith, which I'm just gonna glance at because yes, I know the noon wraith. I've honestly I've read all of these on every monster and every character in the game, and there's just so many characters. I think I spent like four hours reading it all. It's Something's a lot of good stuff. Something's to this place. An object. Something she needs before she'll leave this world. I think it takes me a minute to find the right one, so you guys are gonna watch me loot shit, just because. <laughs> Normally I don't make you watch me loot shit, but, you know, it's all part of the quest. Uh, how do I get around that? 
What do I do here? Yeah, you just blow it up, you dumbass. There. Not really blow it up, just move it aside. Get some minor alchemy stuff. Which, it's always good for me. I like alchemy stuff. This is not the right house either. But I'm going to help myself to all that stuff in that chest. And this one too. Well, these people aren't coming back, so they're not going to miss it. Take me to the final one, which is where we'll find the clues we need. Oh, barrels to loot. Better take that shit. Never know. No. Is there anything in here for me to take? Hello? Pizza man. I just actually ate pizza for dinner, so it's all good. A man. Stabbed with a knife. Died on the spot. Animals fed on his body. Picked his skeleton clean. More blood stains over there. But it's not his blood. A journal might be useful. First playthrough, I recommend reading this. I'm not going to read it, but I'm going to show it on the screen here. It tells you what actually happened to this poor woman. That bracelet might be what ties the woman's spirit to this place. Blood stains, barely visible. Someone was dragged this way. Someone who was still alive. Palm prints in blood. Small hands. A woman's. Someone dragged her out. She was wounded. Fought for her life. No body in sight, but might still find some tracks. Under the right conditions, bloodstains can remain visible for decades. Another print by the well. It's incredible how he can see it from that far off. But, you know, it's his awesome senses. Blood stains, almost faded, but the line's taut. Something's not right. A corpse, hanged by the bucket rope. Woman the journal belonged to, must be. Wide pelvis, small jaw, a woman. Around 30, judging by the teeth. Left arm's missing. Need to cremate the remains. Gotta find the object that binds her to this place before I do, though. Was she wearing the bracelet from her husband? Might be why her arm fell off. Gotta jump down there. Hope I don't break my legs. Yeah, that would be bad. Way to end the adventure right then and there. Oh, my legs are broken. We're done. Here, look for this thing. Uh, it's down here somewhere. That's well, some treasure, but that's not what I'm looking for. Red, yep, that's what I want. And like an idiot, I actually come up on the wrong side. I, it takes me a minute to realize, oh, duh, I gotta be over here. <laughs> like, yeah, over by where the white is there. That's where you're supposed to go. Lucky not to come up empty-handed. A bracelet with an inscription. To Claire, from Volker. Bracelet must have belonged to the woman in the well. Lovely craftsmanship. But I'll have to burn it with the body to get rid of the Noon Wraith for good. Better do it near the well. That's kind of neat, the little echo on Geralt's voice there. Since he's in a cave. And we're gonna go swimming for a little bit. I have to say, I really, really like how well detailed the contracts are in the game. And some of them have multiple ways to do them. It's, yeah, it's just... And a lot of times they have different resolutions and more to them and so on. It's just, it's just beautifully written all the way through. And this is a long swim. I forgot how long this swim was, honestly. 
Need to prepare for this fight. Brew some wraith oil. Drink some potions. Oh, we're already ready for this fight. We've been ready for this fight. And I've got my viper sword. I have specter oil, which I don't know if I've dipped my sword in it yet. Or am I doing that now? Yep. I think I'm showing the oils. I, yep, I do have beast oil now. Very important. Very Im Am I showing my character, too? Yeah, I guess I am. Can't really tell on the small preview screen, but I think I have Delusion and Poison Blades maxed out. And I'm only level 3. <laughs> I mean, I think, I think I'm 3. Places of power make all the difference. You guys actively get them. And the bracelet. Igni. Hey, I think it worked. <laughs> what do you mean you think it worked, Geralt? We'll just drop a Yurden trap right there. It slows him down, it's always nice. No stupid raid. I am literally destroying this thing. And granted, it's, you know, low level raid, sure. It's a low level contract, but that's not the point. It's done. Yeah, that was pretty painless, actually. I don't think it hit me. She's no. gone. Are good. We'll just take all that shit. I don't know why I like to tap the button multiple times instead of just hitting take all. It would make more sense. Just back to the alderman. Job done. The well was haunted by the ghost of a woman who was killed there. I drove it away. I just hope every unburied wretch don't start haunting us. Well, that battlefield's gonna cause us a heap of trouble. If they do, you know who to contact. Meanwhile, Claire, Volker, names ring a bell? I don't know him. Though I did hear our herbalist Tamira mention a Claire once. Same one, maybe? Your reward, Master Witcher. The gold I'd hid away for Mandy's dowry. Without you, she'd never have lived to wed. Now, let's hope for it, at least. At this point, doubt I'll ever marry. You keep the coin from Mandy, her wedding. Raise a toast to my health then. Thank you, Master Witcher. Them's warm words, you've a good heart. But I can't let you go empty-handed. Take this, at least. Good luck. Yeah, I'm not a complete asshole. Besides, it would be nice if someone was drinking to my health years from now. Plus, we're gonna follow up. We're gonna go see Tomira and ask her about Claire, and we're gonna get a better reward for doing that. But, I mean, I guess you could take both. Yes? Listen, ever heard of a woman named Claire? Lived around here? Heard of her? A mild way to put it. Claire was a friend. The only person dear to me in all of White Orchard. Until her husband, Volker, quarreled with the Lord of the Manor. He then gathered the family and moved out into the woods to start a new settlement. The Lord and his retinue rode there to convince them to return. They were to be civil. No forcing, no bloodshed, but you saw. Word is Claire said something about the Lord's son, Florian. Something that made the Lord furious. But who knows the truth? Lots of misfortune for such a small village. Tis so in every village. Even the smallest. You need only ask. But let's not end on a teary note. Here, a bit of solace. Thank you very much. She's so helpful to me, just because of my build, early on. I would much rather have a bunch of alchemy components, things that I can brew potions and oils with, than just a small Take amount of coins early on. Because those are going to help me more often, or help me quite a bit more. Now to Vesemir. Yes? 
What is it, Wolf? Got good news and bad news. Good news first. Captain of the Nilfgaardian garrison knows where Yennefer went. And the bad's that we have to kill the Griffin for him. What else could he want from two witchers? Go on. Tell me what you know. Griffin's abandoned its lair. Gotta make a lure, set a trap. And how's that going? Got the buckthorn. Ought to work like a charm. Powerful scent. More like stench. City boy. Rotting meat, manure, piss, standard smells of the countryside. Remember Tredegor? Hunting that zoogle in the trash heap? You spent half the next day bathing, scrubbing yourself. How can I forget? You ever gonna stop bringing that up? Learn some things. It's a male, had its nest in the Vulpine Woods. The Nilf Guardians burned the woods down, killed its mate, smashed their eggs. Thought they'd fixed things. <laughs> it's always the same. Instead of sending for a professional, they try to do it themselves, only end up making matters worse. <laughs> Fine. If everything's ready, say the word and we'll get to work. I'm ready. No point in waiting. Let's find a good spot to ambush it. Picked one out already, other side of the stream. There's fields and a grove. Plenty of room and far enough so no one will get in our way. Good. Meet you there. Yep, and we got the Thunderbolt potion too. A stream, out of amber waves of grain. Charming place. Perfect for an ambush. I know how to choose them. So, ready? Let's start. Wind's good. Bait's scent will spread quickly. Now all we have to do is wait. Come on. We can cower in the shade of those birches. Yeah, because we need shade at night, Vesemir. So tell me, once we find Yennefer, what'll you do? Got your eye on a contract? No. I'll go to Kaer Morhen. Little early to settle in for the winter. Snows are a way off, yes. And that's what worries me. Nilfgaard's crossed the Pontar in the east. Puts them maybe a week's march from Kaer Morhen. If they reach the valley before snows can cover the passes... Well, we need to cover our tracks, hide our paths. Speaking of winter and wintering, think you'll come this year? Maybe. Might bring a guest. Stop talking. Got a griffin to kill. Watch out! Yeah, see, I see how it is. While I was doing all the work, Vesemir was hanging out playing cards. Yeah, that's fair. I'm just gonna drink some potions. Amp up a little bit. Come on, griffin! I suppose selecting the crossbow would be helpful. This thing I'm not going to chop down nearly as fast as I did the Wraith. <laughs> no way. I don't have hybrid oil yet. And, yeah. <laughs> this thing's got a lot of health on this difficulty. No, stupid Griffin. Ow, knock that off. Well, actually, yeah, he did hit me. Oh, that was my sh Yeah, look at that shit. I think we better heal now, Geralt. Chug some more potions. I'm borderline poisoned right now. You can tell by looking at the borders. How oh, the green is there. I mean, I'm not... It's not over, but it's like, yeah, if I drink another potion, I'm gonna start losing health from poisoning. It, which is bad. You don't want that. Eventually, I'm gonna build the character to the point where that's not gonna be a problem. <laughs> I'll be down in potions as I see fit. It's like, ah, whatever. 
I'm gonna hit it eventually. Good thing Geralt's got unlimited bolts for that crossbow. I mean, I don't know where he keeps them. Probably, maybe in his boots. Yeah, I like that guy. Maybe it's a magic crossbow. I don't know. It just auto-reloads or something. It's running now, so we're gonna have to chase it. Come back now. I, I I realize I could have just called Roach and chased it, but you know it's like I'm almost there, so I might as well just keep running. <laughs> so fuck it. We're just gonna keep running. In hindsight, though, I'm thinking I should have called my horse. That was pretty stupid. I think Vesemir called his. How you like that silver? I don't think it likes the silver very much at all, Geralt. We've kind of fucked it up a bit. Here's stupid Griffin. Oh, I see how it is. You hit me, and then my my bolt hits you. Uh huh. Vesemir still hasn't shown up. Maybe he is running. Oh no, there he is. Okay, he's just kind of chilling out. It's all right. I got this thing. You can just kind of just stand there and watch like a master would do. <laughs> I guess. No. Look at how bloody this thing is too. You can tell it's nearly dead. It is taking me a long time to kill it though. I've noticed. It's like okay, yeah. It usually doesn't take that long, but fucker's got a lot of health. That wasn't nice. Hit me again. Bad Griffin. Yeah, no. I'm gonna dodge that. Yeah, no. Okay, I'll give you that one. Because I was shielded. Ah, I'll give you that one too, I suppose. I'm not poisoned anymore. I think we've just about got this thing. It's dead. Alright. Not bad. Not bad. Though you could stand to improve some things. For example, upward vertical strike. It's too obvious. But more on that later. Take the Griffin's head to the Black Ones. I'll ready our horses. Meet me at the inn. Yeah, I'll do that now. Yeah, of course. This is neat too. Whenever you do a contract, a lot of times. You'll see him take out his little knife for taking trophies. Now where is Roach? Roach! Oh, never mind. We're here already, because I just didn't want to show that. Me looking for my horse. What the hell is this? Why? You take me for a blind man or a fool? This grain is rotten. I... I didn't know. So, a fool. Damn it, you never learn. Military Codex, Article 2, Section 3. For the delivery of defective goods, 15 lashes with a knout. Make it so. Oh, no, no! Sucks to be no. you. What? Fulfilled my end of the bargain. Your turn. Where'd Yennefer go? To Vizima. She was a day's ride from here the whole time? Under my nose? Might have said so. Yes, I might have. But you would not have killed the Griffin. Tit for tat. Halt! We are not done. It's yours, this gold. I would not want you to say you were inadequately compensated. Yep, I got no problem taking gold from the Empire. Right here, we're going to end this part here. You may have noticed that little glitch there.